dream come true seeing you guys working together on this film. Now, this is the first time that you've actually uh, starred opposite each other in a feature film. How's that experience been? Well, it's been awesome. We've never yeah. really been able to do get, very much together, together in a movie. Right. Yeah, right. and get it together. Right. We've never been able to get it together <laughs> in life. <laughs> Um, uh, no, and so uh, I, I, was, I jumped at the chance to be able to do it because that was so exciting to be able to play, um, play against Will, mm -hmm. against you, to right. play against you. <laughs> For us to be opposing <laughs> forces. No. <laughs> no, which we're not actually. We're a team. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Amy and I kind of, uh, what was nice is that we, s we immediately had a shorthand with each other and... Uh, kind of approach comedy the same way and along with this cast who you know everyone was was on the same page in, in terms of you know being willing to improvise and play around and so every day was a, a joy to uh, come to set. For sure. I bet. Now tell us a little bit about Scott and Kate and their relationship. Okay I'll well let's see in. I would say Scott and Kate are a modern couple mm -hmm. raising a, a smart thoughtful daughter who will far exceed them yes. in terms of um, what her she life. she will go on to yeah. do with her <laughs> life. Right. And they are well matched, right. really on the same team. They still love each other after all these years. And they really like each other's... And they like being a family. Yeah. They, it's not a burden to them. They love spending time with their daughter and vice versa. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're anxious <laughs> but excited mm -hmm. about the fact that she's going to leave for college soon. And they make bad decisions together, which is important yeah. in marriage. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, now, I, this is a kind of a family film comedy, but it's rated R. Yeah. I, I, how do you find the balance to make it funny, but not too wrong? I mean, I'm sure that there were times when you're improvising and you can go so far, but how did you find that balance and, and, and was that challenging to make a comedy that's not too raunchy and not too dirty, but family fun? Well, um, <laughs> I think that, you know, as actors, we, we kind of just come to set every day willing to explore whatever kind of tangent we want to. Uh, yeah. And that it's up to the director later to kind of coalesce all of that in, into a way. And so, I mean, we, we kind of, we come uh, ready to, to push the limits as far-fetched as this whole idea is that you're trying to do for your daughter, how relatable do you actually think it is as a parent to maybe go to this extreme to, to do something for your kid? Well, you know, I, I'm the daughter of two public school teachers, so my parents had to remortgage their house mm. for me to go to school, for my brother to go to school, and I can remember those late-night conversations of listening to them, you know, put on a really good face to me, yeah. like, we're so excited that you're going to college, and then just the quiet angry whispering at night about how they were going to pay for it. Um, so I think everybody can relate to that feeling of wanting the best for your kid but not knowing how you're going to yeah. get it. Mm -hmm. Not everybody opens a casino in their house, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> but the intention behind it was good. Yeah. Yeah, I had, a, I had a similar situation in that I was going to go to a state school and switched at the last second to go to a private school and had a conversation with my mother, who's a single parent, and I was like, but how can we do it? She's like, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll just don't, we'll, we'll make sacrifices. We'll, you know, you take student loans, you'll, you'll be able to get some financial aid and just go to the place you want to go, but we'll figure it out. And I think that's the sentiment that, you know, how far fetched the premise is. What's behind it is the fact that, that the Johansons are, are willing to kind of just, we just have to do whatever it takes to not let our daughter down. The problem is, is they forget about their daughter about halfway through the movie. <laughs> and and just they're having too much fun. <laughs> And then they forget why they're doing it. And they but just, they rediscover their lives with each other. They do. A little spark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes, I mean, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about it. So, uh, and let's do, uh, talking about the director, Andrew. It's first, first time directorial debut. Right. How did he do? I thought Andrew did a, a great job, came to the set every day with a <laughs> lot of energy. Yeah. He showed and up to the set every day. He showed up every day. There, there wasn't was one day he missed. three days he missed. <laughs> oh, yeah, there oh. was three days. There was three days, technically three working Which days, he but kept a saying, full week. He kept saying, uh, what did you guys do for your break? And we're like, what are you talking about? We were all here. He's like, no, yesterday was a bank holiday. 
So he'd use this weird excuse of like yeah. bank holiday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, Andrew, uh, you know, obviously Andrew having written the script had a, you know, I think he had a, a very good game plan going in on, uh, on how he wanted to shoot it and how he wanted to uh, uh, conceive the whole, you know, project in, uh, in terms of shot selection and set design and things like that. So uh, I think he did wonderfully well for a first time, first time director. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hi guys, today I've got some nostalgia trivia for you from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie from 1990. Did you know that every Ninja Turtle actor is actually in the movie for a second time? Life Tilden, who plays Donatello, actually plays a member of the Foot. He meets April in the subway station to give her a message. Josh Pace, who plays Raphael, plays a passenger in the back of a taxi cab right after the first fight between Casey Jones and Raphael. Michel Ancisti, who plays Michelangelo, delivers a pizza to himself as a pizza delivery guy who slides Michelangelo a pizza into the sewer. Finally, David Foreman, who plays Leonardo, plays a gang member when Casey Jones fights Tatsu, he's one of the onlookers. So, go ahead and rewatch this movie, keeping an eye out for all these cameos. Kawa Freaky Bonga! Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell to uh, always receive the latest trailers the moment they are online. Bye bye!